We are now connected with Joyce Mantilla, who visited us here in Mexico City a few days ago for a project that I will soon reveal. And it's an extraordinary project that Joyce Mantilla will be a part of. How are you, Joyce? What updates do we have regarding the now famous three-fingered beings of Nazca and Palpa? How's it going? How's it going, Jaime? Good morning to the audience of No Humano as well. Indeed, I am now here in Lima, reunited with my family. And well, I had to share with you and your audience some news that I find very relevant. I find it very relevant because we will realize how, in some cases, a government, like in the case of Peru, can be disconnected. It's as if there were two brains. Why do I say this? The Ministry of Culture, you are witnesses to the attitude it has had against the investigation of the three-fingered beings of Nazca. And yet, there is a school in the jungle area of Peru that has presented a science project at an annual event organized by the Ministry of Education. The event is a national science and technology competition called Eureka One. A group of high school students from the Colegio de Ciencias in Tingo Maria presented the project on the Nazca Mummies. And if the master helps us, there is a small document I have shared with you which I find very relevant because it is an official document from the Directorate of Culture, sorry, from the Ministry of Education. And there you can see the logo of the regional government of Huanuco and the address. And what is on the right is the regional directorate of Huanuco and also the educational management unit of Leoncho Prado. They have presented at this fair, the National Science and Technology Fair the project called, there it is in red, the impact of the discovery of the Nazca mummies on Peruvian and world society, and they have obtained the highest score. This has allowed them not only to win other projects from their school, but also to compete with other science and technology projects from other schools. They have also faced off against the schools in their district in their province, and now they are representing their province with this Nazca Mummies project at the regional level. The judging committee has evidently been in front of them, interviewed them, and seen their project. If the master helps us, we have some images of how they are making their own replicas, their own artistic representations of the Nazca mummies. But we also have a video or photos, either of which would help us with all the material that the students have presented for this competition. The participating students are Marco Arroyo, Natsumi Bustamante, Fernando Gasla, Luana Jara, Julio Adriano, and the presenters have been Bustamante, Natsumi, and Joaquin Gasta. The contestants are from the fourth grade of high school. They are about to finish their secondary education from the private educational institution Colegio de Ciencias in the city of Tingo Maria in Juanuco. Uh, the teacher and advisor is Francisco Ignacio. They have worked, uh, they had the good sense to gather all the information produced not only by the Incari Institute but also what has been done through the third millennium. They have gathered information from the University of Ica and have developed their own material and I am very pleased that this is I believe the third project, but this is the one that is achieving better visibility and impact in the educational community of Peru because there are other efforts made by other children in Cusco as well. We will gather this later because I believe it deserves a special section dedicating something to the kids and those who are researching this, they are getting into this knowledge. And since the authorities are not doing what they should to value this finding, investigate it as it should be. The students are setting the tone, Jaime. Well, 
They are demonstrating the interest that exists even at that level among the younger generations regarding this discovery, and it is something that the government of Peru should pay attention to, which has become an important topic for the students and for Peru, for the population of Peru, to give it the follow-up and importance that I believe they are already giving it. Finally, a week ago, a little more, uh, we know that analyses were conducted in a hospital for the first time by the Ministry of Culture of Peru in Ica. They requested the bodies, the three-fingered beings that the university has. They requested them, and surprisingly, the vice rector agreed. It's good that he did, because the Ministry of Culture fulfilled and returned the bodies, which was our fear and conducted these analyses, performed the CT scans, the x-rays, and here are the students presenting their work. And, well, the replica is not bad. The replica, I mean, it's not identical, but it is similar enough for them to have... ...received this recognition from the authorities, and again, but I repeat, we are waiting at any moment for a statement from the Ministry of Culture of Peru, and hopefully it will be in the coming days. We know from third parties that the analysis, the studies would have demonstrated the authenticity of the bodies, but the definitive analysis by the radiologist is still pending. And in an official statement, the Ministry of Culture should accept this possibility and, above all, without recognizing the origin of the bodies, simply accept that they are real bodies, that they were not modified and that it is worth investigating them. Of course, if there is honesty, if there is honesty in this new administration, if there is honesty and truly a decision to move forward, with a correction regarding what the other 19 ministers of culture have done in seven years, the report that the radiologist will present should be taken into account. It is known from a 2009 confidential source that the radiologist's report has not yet been delivered to the Ministry of Culture. I do not know the details of the report, but as I mentioned last week, I had the opportunity to talk with the radiologist and he was surprised because he found no manipulation in the limbs, in the hands, in the feet, and there is no way something like this could be fabricated or altered to look that way. That is the information I have had from my conversation with the radiologist. But as I say, it will be up to his professionalism and decision to include all the details he deems appropriate after this in-depth analysis. But that's what my initial comment was about, right, Jaime? I mean, how over the last seven years, the Ministry of Culture has done many things against even the researchers. And now we have students presenting this research and winning competitions, not only in their school, competing with other schools, they are now participating at the provincial level. And I think it's very good news that the kids are the ones leading the way in this regard. This is what other researchers, professional researchers in Peru with SciTech, the Science and Technology Council of Peru should be doing. We have other organizations that need to conduct research and they are not doing it. But the good thing is that the kids are more open-minded, probably have a slightly more open mind than the officials who already have rusty screws and bolts. Well, thank you very much. Surely between this week and the next, there will be news and there will be very important news for all of us to be on the lookout, you especially you, because we are sure We have received unofficial news that we cannot reveal, indicating that this is very close to reaching a final verdict. So we will be on the lookout. We know what it should be, 
and not because we want to impose it, but because we have investigated it thoroughly and we know what the truth is. We do not have the lie, doubt, not even 1%, not 1%. The bodies are legitimate. The bodies are authentic. The bodies are and correspond to unknown beings on earth. Most scientists do not want to take a position in this sense, but I do. I don't know about Joyce, but I do say they are extraterrestrial. Why do I say it? For various reasons. One, the implants that are inside the bodies were absolutely impossible thousand or two thousand years ago on Earth. There are no other similar examples. Moreover, the very rare metals. How did they manage to put them there without causing any kind of reaction? Two, they are hybrid beings. The DNA has been demonstrated, and this could not have been done by human beings one thousand or two thousand years ago. Three, there are no precedents before or after the appearance of these bodies of similar things. In other words, these three elements appeared and disappeared suddenly. To me, it also seems physical features, the size of the head, the bones, the tridactyl features, and many, many others. Uh, the eye sockets, many differences with humans. All this makes me think those plates, those strange things that these bodies have, well, it's not something normal. It's not normal, and at least it hasn't been detected in other civilizations. Therefore, it makes us think that they are beings, in my personal case, and I want to make it very clear, yes, they are beings from another world. Time will determine it. And scientific studies will determine it. For now, the only thing we seek, my dear Joyce, is for it to be recognized that they are organic beings, they are legitimate beings that were not altered. Above all also that they are bodies that are part of the heritage and that the Peruvian people and the people and the population of the world have every right to know what it really is about. They deserve an answer from science, they deserve an investigation. And also the public of Peru has every right to make use of and benefit from their heritage as they see fit. That's what heritage is for. That's why officials in that Ministry of Culture are paid to protect the heritage and so that the people can benefit from it. They have every right to do so. And we have been losing opportunities for seven years, not only for research, scientific exchange, cultural exchange, academic exchange, but also tourism. And for what? For nothing. For nothing. In other words, finally, this will be accepted as authentic, and the only thing that was done was waste time. Thank you very much, my dear Joyce. Greetings in communication, friend. Bye. 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 Bye.